Okay, this is in regards to the HP Storageworks sand switches. Uh, how to manage them with a serial console cable. There's two types of serial console cables. Uh, if you have an older sand switch like this right here, which says, which is the the 4x8, these actually have a serial port and then the newer ones actually have, they'll have what, what, what appears to be two um, Ethernet ports. One of them will have LEDs on it, and the other one will not. And so, what you have here is this is a this is an original HP part number that I was emailed. And what this is is basically this is it has a a DB9 or a standard uh, female serial port end. And the other end is the other end is made to be a it's made to be an RJ45, and they have a, an adapter on here. As cheesy as it looks, this is an adapter that's um, it's made for HP that pins out from for the RJ45 to the uh, serial. If you try and use a desktop serial port connection, um, I found out that the cards do not actually support the even though they say it they don't actually support the RS232 standard because um, because of the USB to serial uh, driver or, or something like that so essentially what you have is you have a dongle cable that attaches here it attaches here on the front and attaches here on the front of these of these servers and let me show you what that looks like Those cables actually look like this right here. And what you would have is you would have two USB ports, a VGA port, and then a serial port. And I'll make it quick because it's noisy back here. But this is the other type of sand switch that you possibly could have. If you have a sand switch that's 2U, whether it's 4 gig or 8 gig, you'll notice on here that it actually has. It actually has a USB port, which is for factory use only from what I understand, from what they put it on there. You actually have an Ethernet port for management, and then you have a, a serial port here for, con for console. This is an 8 of 80. Um, so, The other type of switch that the the eight over eighty, what those support is those actually support a straight pin, uh, straight through pin serial connection cable, and it's hard to make those things. But if you have a Cisco cable, this is this is not a, this is similar to Cisco, but this is not a Cisco brand cable. Uh, Cisco would have a little logo up here. This is actually a StarTech cable that I got from Micro Center, around twenty five dollars. This is the same thing, it goes to me DB9. You'll notice on this end over here, it is actually a straight through cable. So, this actually works for the newer style uh, 8 gig switches and stuff like that. And the the hardest part about this is actually, well, actually, the well, I guess the hard part about this is actually just uploading the the uh, the firmware to the switches itself. What you have to do is you actually have to call up HP. And you have to request a program called Sand Loader. That's S A N, not Sand. Um, you won't find it on Google, but the um, the version of uh, Sand Loader here is uh, 5.0. It's the latest one. And once you log into it, you have to specify an IP address. I logged in as root with password, which I don't really care. Everyone knows that. Once you once you uh, once you do it, it comes up. Use your disclaimer and tells you this right here. You'll notice that now all of a sudden uh, firmware is uh, is enabled. However, before you do this, you actually have to have the you actually have to have the um, the firmware files extracted from a zip folder into a folder. These switches right here, the the eight gig switches, 
The highest you can go is version 7.42C. Ignore the the version 8s are actually for the newer switches that are 16 gig sand switches and stuff like that. And so what you would do over here is just for example, um, when you click on firmware and you click on update, you come over here and you select this. Um, if you try and select a file that's like, for example, like 8.10, or one that's too high for your switch, when you try and select, when you try and select it, you get this message right here. It'll come up and say, it'll say invalid FOS folder selected. However, if I select the, if I select the correct file, 7.42C. It'll actually accept it. It'll, it'll actually ask me uh, on this right here, a link speed. You want to say yes. And this right here will ask you. I'm not going to do this because um, I already have mine. But it'll ask, "Are you sure you want to update?" And it'll go through, and it'll what it'll do is it'll actually it'll actually patch all the files, and then it'll say um, the, system, the system is rebooting. Um, and that's all there is to it. So, um, anyway, I uh, hope uh, people find this useful. And this is um, this is what I have to post. Thanks. Bye.